It is possible to edit the text on your checkout pages, so let me show you how. Okay, first we're gonna click into online store over here because we're gonna need to go into the themes area. For this, I'm gonna show editing one of the themes that was already on here when you first get Shopify. So I'm gonna show it in this jumpstart theme. So the spot to edit the words, you're gonna wanna click these three dots to the right of the theme. And then you're gonna wanna hit edit default theme content. And then it pops up where it has all these different pages that would be on your website. And then it has the text below where it would show up on the website. So I'm just gonna show one example because there's obviously a lot that you can edit with this. I'm gonna show you how to edit the text by the shipping method at checkout. So first to show you the area we'll be editing, I'm gonna go back into themes. And now that I'm back into themes, I'm gonna click into customize. That way we can see what the website will look like. And this was my first attempt at my website way back in 2019, I think, or 2018. So it does not look very good, but just ignore the look of it. But we're going to go into the checkout area. So in this drop down, I'm going to hit checkout. Right now, it just shows a gift card. I'm actually going to add in an item. That way we can see the shipping method actually show up. Okay, so I added a random pattern into the cart. And now I'm going to show you, we're going to edit down here by this shipping method. And I did enter in just a random shipping address here. So just please ignore that. So right here by shipping method, you'll notice that it doesn't say anything extra. It just says shipping method. Now on my website, I like to put there what they would have to spend in order to get free shipping, let's say, or I would like to say items usually ship within one business day or just some extra text to give a little bit more information about the shipping method. And then I also had some issues where some people would think that they should get free shipping if their order fell under the free shipping amount after they use coupons, which on my website they could get free shipping if they spent 30 or more and I needed them to have spent 30 or more after they applied coupons. So I also put that text on my website. I did quickly pop over into the website that I was using. So you'll just see here what I put in. So I put shipping methods, free standard shipping on US orders, $30 and over. $30 minimum must be met after discount discounts and coupons for free shipping. And then I added this too. All orders currently ship within three business days from Indiana. Now I would usually ship within one business day, but I wanted to under promise and over deliver. So now if we want to add this on the other theme, let's say I copy this part. We're gonna have to go back into that edit the language area. So now we are back in that area we, where we can edit the language. Just a reminder, that is when you would click the three dots and you would hit edit default theme content. And we are gonna edit in the checkout area. So you'll see a checkout and system. If there are a lot more of these than fit up here, there might be a little drop down for the extra ones, but we're gonna click into checkout and system. Now this is the part that can get confusing because not everything is loaded. You'll see how this little pull down, I don't know what you call that thing, but what you can pull down to drag it down. As you keep dragging it down, it'll keep getting extended. So if you were just looking for something with like control F to find a word easily, it wouldn't all be popping up right away because not all the items are fully loaded. So I'm just gonna kind of keep dragging this down and get a lot more loaded. And I will say that sometimes this can be a lot of trial and error to edit the correct thing because on that page, we are gonna want this specific area edited and this specific language edited. So what I would generally do is we see the word shipping method. So we know that will be near what we need to edit because that's already entered. So I would go in here and I do believe we actually scrolled right next to it, but I would hit control F and I would do shipping method. And let's say we go to the top. And we'll see text like continue to shipping method, continue to shipping, that's not what we're looking for, back to shipping method, return to shipping, not what we're looking for, choose shipping method. And you may think maybe this is it and you would add a little something here and you would test it and you would notice it wouldn't work. That's not what we're looking for. And just from a little trial and error, I know we're looking for the checkout shipping. So we'll see this checkout shipping. And I believe the shipping method notice will add the text under the shipping method. So I just copied what I had on my website I was using. I'm gonna paste it in here. Of all orders currently ship within three business days from Indiana. And now I need to save it. And now we are gonna see if it pops up in that theme we were editing. So I'm gonna refresh this theme. And now you will see this, all orders currently ship within three business days from Indiana. So that did work, we did find the right area. Now if that didn't pop up, you likely found the wrong area, you'll probably wanna delete this out and try a different area. And now if I wanted to add that extra text after the shipping method, I can, again, I'll go copy what I had on my other website. 
We'll go back into where we can edit the default theme language. And then to me, looking at this, I would think it's here, shipping method title. So it has shipping method already, and that lines up with what this already is saying. So I'm gonna paste the rest after this. And I see it's having me retype in what they had typed in. And then two spaces there, I'm gonna hit save. And we're gonna check it again. So I'm gonna refresh my theme. And here we go, it added it. So it added this extra text. And so the nice thing is you're not actually having to go in and edit code. You can find the area within that change the default theme area. So this, just one more reminder, you would click into themes, click this, edit default theme content. So if you can find the area in here, it's not too hard to edit the language. And one thing you'll likely find is that certain customers will complain about different things. You know, did they think they were supposed to get free shipping? Did they think that it was going to ship more quickly? Are they maybe confused that they're going to get charged immediately once they place their order? Like as you get different complaints coming through, you can go in and you can change the language. You can add stuff to this page if you need to. And then you, you can kind of take away those questions in customers' minds. And then also if someone were to complain, you can kind of say, I have it stated right here that you had to meet that minimum after discounts and coupons. I will say that sometimes it can be a bit of a struggle that if someone pays with one of these other express checkout options, that they may not see the text of these items. But when you look in someone's order, it will usually tell you if they placed their order through some of these ways. So you'll know if a customer did come through in this whole page here, if they're complaining about something. I just learned with running my business that it definitely can be helpful to put extra text on your website just to take away confusion from your customers.